there's a million of us recipes on YouTube. They all seem so boring and flat and utterly unwatchable, and the food they yield, in some cases, is inevitable. Hummus is super easy to make and almost impossible to fuck up. You can adjust the amount of every single ingredient to suit your taste, and you should. If you usually follow recipes and measure ingredients, making hummus is an excellent exercise in building trust and confidence in yourself. The real joy of hummus is that for five bucks worth of ingredients, you can make the equivalent of $25 worth of pre-made store-bought hummus. Chickpeas. Canned is easy, but dried is cheap. Secret tip. For every two cans of chickpeas you use, put in a half a can of Great Northern Beans and it'll add creaminess. Lemon juice. I use that bottled stuff that's basically citric acid dissolved in water. Save your fresh lemons for when you're making salad dressing or something. For our purposes here, this 99 cent stuff is perfectly fine. Tahini. The shit is turbo expensive. So for the most part, I can't afford it or I don't care to keep it in my kitchen. So trade out some off-brand peanut butter. It's not as good, but it'll do. Olive oil. For our purposes here, I prefer a dark, fruity, extra virgin olive oil. Don't overthink it. Whatever suits your budget is probably fine. Just look for first cold pressed on the label. Garlic. I've always got fresh garlic in my kitchen, so that's what I use, but garlic powder will work in a pinch, or if that's all you've got, totally fine. Just watch out because garlic powder will become more pungent as it rehydrates in your hummus. So it might taste good as soon as you put it in, and then the next morning, blow your doors off with toxic chemical burns of garlic in your mouth. Garlic death. Salt. I tend to have kosher salt on hand at all times, so that's what I use, but if you have Iodized table salt, that's fine, but just like with the garlic, watch out for that, because that dissolves at a different rate. Don't oversalt it! Pepper. Add it as you like. Fresh ground if you can. Water. I like my hummus really runny, so I just add water until it's the consistency that I desire. Cumin. I usually don't add cumin, but it's the ingredient that'll make your hummus taste more like store-bought or restaurant hummus. Impress your friends! Crushed red pepper flakes. I add these almost every time I make hummus, but also watch out just like the garlic powder, they'll become spicier overnight. Making hummus is an excellent exercise in building your confidence to just wing it and operate intuitively in the kitchen. Don't fixate on what the recipe says too much. Just go deep inside yourself and listen to your inner yum yum. Trust your taste and work to refine it. Your tongue will tell the truth. Stay tuned, because in the next episode we'll be roasting chicken leg quarters, God's gift to the destitute, lazy, and indigent.